Hey everyone, we're reaching the end of 2016 now and just like I've done an updated backpack tour by popular demand, this is going to be the video to showcase my loadouts that I'm currently using in TF2. You can have a look at the changes that have happened since the last video this time last year and the one before that from two years ago when I initially made my first loadout video. So you can take a look at the different cosmetics, all the different unusuals that I wear and all the different weapons and the kind of different loadouts for different situations that I use and stuff like that but with no further ado we're going to get straight into it and we're going to start off with our friend the scout and this loadout is pretty much the same for since i first made it i mean it's been a, a very very static loadout really we start off we got the scatter gun here i'm using the australian one it's a it's a hail zone one so I've got all what 22,000 kills on there um, moving down here we've got the Kappa, which is obviously the, the laser pistol. It's a reskin of the, the default pistol. It's a strange one, professional kill streak. Um, and I've got the Bat Saber as well. That's another thing from the Invasion update. And this one is also strange and professional kill streak. Actually, all of these are professional kill streak and they've all got, look, we've got Firehorns, Agonizing Emerald, Firehorns, Agonizing Emerald, and Firehorns, Deadly Daffodil. So we're going to see a lot of Firehorns on these loadouts. I really, really do like Firehorns. It is probably my favourite uh, favorite kill streaker, and with the sheens, I uh, mostly try to try to match them up with the cosmetics that I use. As you can see, this is a very, very old loadout. I've had these hats for a long, long time. I give you, I give you a hint. My first, my first uh, scout loadout. I used to wear a uh, a bonk helm, which was burning flames. I used to have a bonk boy with bubbling and another bonk boy with green confetti because back then there was a glitch where you could wear two of the same cosmetic at the same time. So I wore two bonk boys, had this triple unusual effect. It was very, very messy. And to be fair, this is this is much more shiny, much more green, but it's probably equally as messy. Uh, but we got the unusual troublemakers, tossle cap, scorching flames, painted lime. I know a lot of people dislike lime, especially on scouts, but hey, green's my favorite color. So you know what? I just roll with it. Uh, and down here I've got my Bonk Boy, okay, so this is a Sunbeams Bonk Boy, when I got it there was only about 5 or 6 Sunbeams Bonk Boys in existence, be interesting to see how many there are now, and this is a strange one, I put a Stranger Fire on it, so it counts my points, I've also got a kill, kills, uh, strange part attached to it, so it counts my kills as well, so it's a professional kill streak as you can notice, which, yes, it's a hat, it shouldn't have a professional kill streak on it, but there was a glitch in MVM, during a, an update a long, long time ago, um, probably talking about a year ago now or so, that dropped some glitched killstreak items, so specialised killstreak fabricators and professional killstreak fabricators, and if you made them, they could be applied, the killstreak kits could be applied to any item in the game, not just weapons, you could put them onto hats, you could put them onto crates, you could put them onto keys, you could put them on absolutely anything, so um, I've got a bunch of professional killstreaks applied to some of my cosmetics, because why the hell not? The killstreakers don't show, and the sheens aren't visible on the hat, they actually have no visible... Uh, visible difference when you have them on them only if you have a weapon such as the, the rocket jumper or something like that but I just have it for the sake so you know it, it's just something for me to have and it makes my my bonk way a little bit more unique than the other ones out there and obviously this can be painted painted now it wasn't paintable before so I painted it lime because why not I've got my bruises bandana here do I actually have a strange one which I should maybe paint and start wearing rack up some of those points uh, but he he, he kind of looks like a cabbage I always call this my cabbage scout it's got a very green face, very, very green, uh, cabbagey looking face. Uh, so we can have a look at my taunts as well. I've got a lot of unusual taunts across all of my classes. Um, we can have a look at this one. This is my conga with Fountain of Delight. This is also a professional kill streak, because why the hell not? Um, why not? And it's, uh, yeah, this is my most expensive taunt, I think. Not sure, some of the new ones haven't been valued. Uh, this was one of my first uh, uncreated unusuals. This is actually my second unusual that I have uncreated. Deep Fried Desire with a Midnight Whirlwind. We've got the Kazotsky Kick as well. This was something that I uncreated uh, during this year's Halloween. And it is the effect, as you can see, Spectral Swell. And this is another all-class one, so I can have this on any class that I want, not just the Scout. 
And this was donated to me. This is an Infernal Smoke deep fried design. Now, unfortunately, there is a glitch, which means because I've shown you this one, it will just show you the same effect. It doesn't show you the difference. This one's got Infernal Smoke. This was donated to me by Epic Stormer. So very, very generous and much, much appreciated. So, yeah, I've got a couple of chicken taunts there. Um, we'll have a look at the, the different loadouts as well now. But it change that off, otherwise we're going to be seeing... Uh, indefinite taunts and this is my one of my favorite loadouts in the game but the alien loadout unfortunately you can only wear it during halloween um the problem with that is that you got so many great cosmetics so many great items that are halloween restricted so uh there's not very many times but i do wear it uh, over halloween you see i got my diary there for, <laughs> for my spells and another nice thing about this is that you got the uh, the burst chest i've got a strange one there and you got like an alien coming out of an alien so you know, it's uh, Alienception, if you will. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I agree, Scout. And then onto another loadout here. This is just one I use when I'm playing in uh, competitive games. If I want to take it a little bit more serious. As you can see, it's pretty much, again, the default loadout. Uh, except I use the Three Moon Blade, which is just a reskin of the Boston Basher. That hurts yourself, which is kind of useful in competitive games. It allows you to build uber faster for your medic. Or jump up onto slightly out of reach places just by hurting yourself a little bit. And I basically changed my hats to not stand out as much. So I've got my prehistoric pull over here. It's an unusual one. It's got nether trail on it. And uh, it's got that nice, nice pink flame coming out of it. It is another all-class hat, so I can wear this on any class. But pretty much just wear this on my scout at the moment. I've got some earbuds here, level 99. Back in the day when these were actually worth something. <laughs> um, before the market crashed and they became basically worthless and i've got another bruiser's bandana this one's painted pink just to go a little bit more with the loadout uh, just to match things up a little bit but yeah those are the scout loadouts that i generally use moving on to the soldier now and the soldier again has not changed much over the years that i've been using this loadout actually if you look at the the thumbnail from my original loadout video a couple of years ago it's basically this loadout um we can start off with the rocket launcher it's a hell zone australian one professional kill streak on it um it's actually got a halloween spell on it as well this is just i think it's, this weapon actually has more kills than any other weapon i have in this game uh, not including my mediguns which have obviously got a lot of assists and, and healing and stuff like that on them but this is you've got thirty-seven thousand kills so i think that's the most i've got on any weapon or any single weapon i should say in this game um onto this i've got my backwards boomstick for my secondary which is that unusual shotgun it's field tested it's got isotope uh, professional kill streak and other fire horns um like i said i do love the fire horns i think it's a strange one as well uh, i was this was something i wanted this was the one unusual weapon i wanted for so long it took me ages to actually track one down uh that i could trade for and this was the the result and i always use the escape plan i think it's just the best melee for the soldier at the moment it allows you to get out of a lot of uh, situations where otherwise you wouldn't be able to escape from with that extra little bit of speed it used to be very very overpowered when it was combined with the equalizer those were the days where you could do more damage and you were faster uh, until they separated them into the escape plan and the current equalizer uh, but yeah that's what i use and on to the cosmetics my favorite most favoritest hat in the game is my tyrant's helm uh, level 88 scorching flames professional kill streak uh, it's it's just my favorite hat i love it if i was to cash out my entire backpack um and i was still going to play tf2 I would probably say this is the one item I would want to keep hold of. If they could say, I'll, I'll sell everything, blah, blah, blah. I want to keep this one hat, though. It really, literally is my favorite hat. It's something that when I started out Unusual Trading, it was the hat that I really wanted to uh, really wanted to aim for. And that's what, when I finally got it, it did feel like a, a mission complete. And that was a, a great day. Moving on to the other things, though. I've got an exquisite rack here. This has got Terrawatt. So, uh, like, sort of lightning going on with the Scorching Flames as well. Uh, combine this with the, the All Father. It's a strange one. And uh, as you can see, it's got a lot of points on it. Nearly 122,000 points. That's the most points I think I've got on any item. Because uh, it used to be just available on the Soldier and the Heavy. But now you can wear it on pretty much every class so i do uh, i do wear it on a number of my classes we can have a look at the taunts for the soldier uh we won't look at the, the all class ones again the conger and the kazotsky kick it's exactly the same uh but we can take a look at this we got the fresh brood victory this one is screaming tiger 
This was an original one. I do have another one here, um, but like I said before, the glitch is just going to show the same effect. But this one is different. This was donated to me by someone called Soviet Kitty, very generous. And uh, it's a showstopper one, which is the one with the fireworks. We'll see a different unusual taunt later with the showstopper effect, so you can kind of guess what it looks like. Uh, but unfortunately, that glitch is preventing us from seeing it on the soldier. But moving on, this is my latest unusual taunt, and it's the soldier's requiem with Hellish Inferno. It's that gravestone with the bats coming out of the depths of hell behind him. And uh, yeah, it's actually really, really one of my favourite taunts now, I think. Uh, I do, <laughs> do quite enjoy it. We can move on to the different loadouts now. And uh, this is just, uh, just a standard comp loadout I sometimes use. If I want to take things seriously as soldier. Same weapons other than the gunboats. Provide a little bit more mobility than my collector's ones. Collector's gunboats are actually the only collector's item I own that... I made myself. All of the other ones were traded for, uh, but these collector's gunboats I actually made myself. But for the cosmetics, I've got the Allfather again. I've also got my Gibbous. This is a strange Gibbous with over 66,000 points. So it's that Manso signature collection. It's also a professional killstreak, like I said, glitched. Professional killstreakers added it onto there. It's got a whole bunch of strange parts as well. Same for my uh, Professor Specs. Got a stranger fire on that one as well. Apparently I've helped eight new users. So there you go. Um, I'm glad glad to have helped those people. And again, a lot of points on this. And finally, I've got another loadout, which I like to use, but unfortunately I can't use it that much. Uh, it's kind of just like a pub loadout. Got my Australian black box here, which I've called the gold box. Haha! <laughs> Funny. Uh, nearly hail zone. Nearly there. Just just shy of a thousand kills off of being hail zone. I like to use the contra as well. It's really good. Just the gold, the, the the black box and the contra mixed together just gives you that extra survivability when you're playing in a pub scenario just by yourself. And this is one of my favourite hats actually. It's the ether trail or ether trail. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it's the purple flame uh, on top of the helmet, and it's a strange helmet which came from the gargoyle collection. This was uh, last year's 2015 Halloween collection. And it goes well, I think, with the, the Vivi Cursed Soul for Soldier and the Haunted Grub Grenades. It just gives you that kind of zombie look, that monster zombie look. Unfortunately, like we saw in the Scout, these are Full Moon Halloween restricted, so don't get to use them very often. So I do like to use this loadout at Halloween. A lot of people saying they've seen me wearing this loadout during uh, the contract stages of Halloween. But unfortunately, the rest of the year can't really use it. So it's a shame. It would be nice if they open those up a little bit more. But alas, it's, uh, it makes it a little bit more special when I do end up using it. Moving on to the pyro now. Now my pyro is just covered in effects. It's uh, it's a bit of an unusual whore, if you will. Starting off with my flamethrower. It's a default flamethrower, but it's the festive uh, forest fire skin. It's forest fire with the festivizer on it. And it's an unusual one with energy orb. It's a strange one as well, so it's got a whole bunch of strange parts and it's a minimal wear and I just love energy orb. I think it's my favourite effect and favourite unusual effect for weapons. It just Because it covers most of the weapon, I just think it looks really, really cool, especially on the pyro on the flamethrower. I've um, got the backwards boomstick again, like we just saw on the soldier. I use it on pyro. I actually prefer using the shotgun on pyro. I think you do a lot more damage as pyro running the shotgun rather than things like the flare gun. There are some pyros out there that swear by the flare gun, but... I just think the shotgun, you know, if you come pyro view pyro, you can do a lot more damage and you can actually do a lot more burst damage generally, uh, you know, harassing people, using your, your shotgun and then switching over to your flamethrower, stuff like that. I think it just gives you a lot more options. Um, so I always, always run the uh, the shotgun when I'm playing pyro. And I've got the power jack, which I think, again, it's just the best melee for the pyro. It gives you that extra speed, especially since the extinguisher got nerfed. I um, used to rock that quite a lot. It was good fun, but... Since it doesn't guarantee you, you know, full crit hits, no matter where you hit them, now it's only if you do it from behind. Power Jack just gives you that extra move ability. It's just really, really helpful. Uh, but moving on to the cosmetics, got my Wraith Wrap. Now this is obviously oh professional kill streak again. Just one of those ones that I've added. It's a Scorching Flames one with a Halloween uh, spell on it, Gangrene Footprint. So it gives those green footprints, just adding to the green effect on the Pyro. But this, uh, this Wraith Wrap, actually, I traded for it. And when I traded for it, it was the only Scorching Wraith Wrap in existence. And there was no Burning one in existence at the time. So this was actually the first ever high-tier Wraith Wrap in existence. There were no other high-tier effects with Wraith Wrap, um, on the Wraith Wrap at this point. I know since then there's been at least one Burning and at least one Scorching uncreated. 
Uh, so, you know, it's a little less unique, but it was the first. And uh, it's actually my most expensive cosmetic, it's most valuable cosmetic in my backpack. Um, so it actually is still retains quite a lot of value because it is a very popular pyro hat. I think it goes well with the pyromancer's mask. This one's level 100. It's also got the Halloween spell on it as well, kind of doubling up there with the footprints. And this one's Terror Watt, so I've got the same kind of combination of effects that I had on my soldier with the Scorching Flames and the uh, the lightning coming from the Terror Watt. Um, and it's painted green. It makes him look like a bit of like a dragon, right? You know, pyro... Fire, dragon, breathing fire, you know, that's that's the kind of kind of look I'm going for with my pyro here. Um, but I think it looks pretty cool. And then just finally got my uh, antlers here. I think this is the only loadout I actually use my antlers on. Uh, the antlers, they've got green confetti effect. And the antlers had an update uh, a while ago now, which made them all class and have no equip region. So you can wear the antlers on any class, but also the no equip region means you can wear them with any hat. So it doesn't matter what hat you're wearing, what cosmetic you've got on your class, you can always have the antlers on them, which means you can actually have three pairs of antlers if you want. You know, they don't clip, they don't clip with anything. So quite a popular and quite a valuable uh, set of cosmetics for my pyro. Looking at the taunts though, I've just got one unusual taunt specific to the pyro, that is the party trick. This is Fountain of Delight, which I think is really cute. Actually, I'm looking for some uh, from things like the, the pool taunt. You can get uh, the pool taunt for the pyro as well. Moving on to the different loadouts, and this one actually looks better because it's a pink loadout, party trick, Fountain of Delight. Um, but if we just have a look at the weapons used on here, this is my, um, I don't know what to call this, my... I've had enough, so I'm just going to pub by myself, load out, perhaps. <laughs> Got my strange collectors, professional killstreak phlogistonator. You cannot get more sweaty tryhard than that. It goes well with my strange collectors, professional killstreak man melter. I just think these go really well together. The flog's pretty fun to use now and again, just to get in there and do some crit damage. And the man melter helps you put out teammates with uh, the extinguish on the secondary function and then deal just some crit flares from a distance. So it's pretty fun to use, um, I have to admit. It's just uh, it's just good fun. And uh, I've got different hats here. I've got, it's called the Lazy Nap and Hat. It's actually a Nappa's Respite with Amaranthine. This is actually donated to me by Soviet Kitty as well. And it's got a couple of Halloween spells. You can just, if I just do this here, you can see the effect a little bit better. It goes well with a, my pink bruises bandana to just change it up. And I've got my strange apparitions aspect on uh, this loadout just to, to change the looks of things. So yeah, I switch between these two loadouts depending on what kind of mood I'm in. Moving on to the demo man now. And uh, as everyone should probably know by now, I've got the golden demo man. I've got my... Hale's own grenade launcher just hit over 10,000 kills on it recently and uh, they all have the same kill streak on they've got singularity and deadly daffodil that's kind of the uh, I want that sunbeam effect coming out of his eye as well so it just makes him even more sunbeam then I got my sticky launcher just over two, uh, 20,000 kills on my sticky launcher oh just got exactly thousand dominations on it now um, and again singularity and deadly daffodil uh, golden frying pan you know Totally, totally legit. Um, it's got the it's got the kill streaker with deadly daffodil sheen on it. So if you squint your eyes, uh, you know it, it kind of looks golden. It kind of looks golden. Um, but yeah, would be nice to have an actual golden pan to just complete that set. Onto the cosmetics again. Singularity deadly daffodil kill streaker. Another one of those glitched professional kill streaks. It's on my regulator with sunbeams, and uh, I used to have a green energy regulator back in the day and had a bit of a green loadout going on but when the Australians came into play I just thought let's mix this up and have a golden loadout. I've got my dangerous two. These are deadly daffodil. Actually uh, uh, yeah I was gonna say sorry painted Australian. Got a special kill specialized kill streak on them as well just just for the the shoots and giggles. And then finally my bearded bombardier also painted gold. So he just looks super super gold. Um, we can actually uh, get the duck there because he's a bit more gold looking isn't he just make him even more yellowy gold and just to top all of that off i've got my unusual taunt obliterated with the holy grail effect so you know he gets shumby something shining out of his ass as well he just gets everything everything shiny possible on this demo man i do have a couple of different loadouts actually i'm just gonna do that to stop him using the taunt i've got my pink loadout which is, is something i use for mvm generally starting off with the sweet dreams grenade launcher um, I am looking for an unusual one of these. I kind of want a factory new one with the hot effect just to kind of go with this loadout. 
it's something I use. Like I said, I use this for MVM because you know you don't get kills for killing the robots, so it's just you know something different. Then I got my unusual sticky bomb launcher. It's the pink elephant skin factory new, um, and it's got the hot effect. It does have fire horns on hot rod just to give it that professional kill streak. Mixing up with uh, just a general. Collector's Scottish hand sh handshake there. I mean, it's red. It kind of goes with the pink theme, right? Maybe, maybe not. I've got my unusual Doctor da Doctor's Dapper Topper there. It's got the Robo Active. It's the only Robo Active hat I have in the game, actually. And uh, I wear it on this loadout. Just nice and pink. It is an all-class hat. It used to be just for the soldier, but now you can wear it on any class. So I use it on my demo man. And I've got another pair of Dangerous 2. A lot of people asking how I got one of these. Um, when I already have another pair, they used to be tradable with gift wrap. I'm not sure if that's the case anymore because gift wrap has changed. So you might need to double check, you know, if people are wanting another pair of them. I'm not sure whether that's possible anymore or it may be. I may just be misunderstood. I'm not sure. But you guys have to look that up. And then I've got the pink bruises bandana. So, so it's just a, a pink demo man, pink demo man. I do have a third loadout, third loadout, which I sometimes use for Halloween. I am not a good demo night, demo night at all. Okay, uh, if you want to look up great demo night plays, you want to look at anyone else but me. But I do try sometimes. I've got collector's bootlegger and the collector's tie turner. And then I've got my... Okay, you ready for this? Because this is very long. Sufficiently lethal, unusual professional kill streak, horseless, headless, horseman's head taker. There we go. It's basically the, the head taker, the unusual head taker with a professional kill streak on it and also the stranger fire used on it as well. It is a tradable one as well, which makes it slightly more valuable. Uh, it's got a bunch of uh, different strange parts attached and a Halloween spell. So that's sometimes what I try to use when I go around demo nighting. I've got my universal translator here. Used to be... Uh, Used to be just one class, and now you can wear it on all classes. It's got my nebula effect. It's a really, really nice hat. I do want to make more loadouts themed around the nebula hat, but this is the best I've got at the moment. He's kind of like a, a zombie spaceman. I've got my soul, and I've got the, the haunted pocket horseman. There you go, just on his back there, because, you know, you've got to have the spirit of the horseman if you're going to try to demo night, right? Uh, but again, those are only Halloween limited, so I have to kind of switch things around when it's not Halloween time. Finally onto the heavy. Now on the heavy, I only pretty much have one loadout because I don't know. I don't play that much heavy anymore, and uh, I just like this loadout. So I've got my minigun. Um, sometimes I use this. This one's a Hail Zone one, professional kill streak. Sometimes I switch things over and use the Tomislav instead. Got my festive sandwich, my strange festive sandwich. Got a whole bunch of times I've eaten it. Allies extinguished as well. Allied healing done. Got over 100,000 healing done on my sandwich. And then I've got the eviction notice. I use the eviction notice now because it gives you faster movement speed. But also it doesn't have that mini crit marked for death effect that the gloves are running urgently have nowadays. So this, you know, you do take more damage. Same as the Gru if you have them out. But when you switch them back, the effect is off straight away. Whereas, you know... On the uh, on the Gru, it lasts for a second or a second or two longer. Uh, moving on to the cosmetics, though, I've got my Dragonborn helmet. This was oh, this was another hat that I basically said to myself, "What hat do you want for heavy?" And the dream, the dream was always the Dragonborn helmet. That was that was all I wanted. Um, so it took me a long time to eventually get mine. But there we go. It's got the burning flames effect. It's got a Halloween spell on it. Professional kill streak. Um, it's it, there was only a few in the world when I finally got it. I think it was like five or six. Um, there may be more now. I'm not sure. And then it goes well with my luchador. You can't actually see it very well because it's hidden underneath the mask. But it's got the unusual effect. Something burning this way comes. It's got the bat flying around uh, the fire. So we got a head that's on fire with a burning bat flying around it, which I think is is really really cool. And then finally the uh, the All Father, which just makes him he's just the Dragonborn, isn't he? It just makes him look like the Dragonborn. Now, unfortunately for my heavy, there is no there is no specific heavy unusual that I have. So we're just gonna we're gonna make him do oh. We're gonna double click and make it all go away. No, we're gonna make him do the Kazotsky tour. It's it's you know it's it's a Russian taunt. It's the least he deserves until I finally get around to finding. Um, I'm sure there is a way to get a, a heavy taunt. You can obviously make the shred alert. That's an all class taunt. Um, but I'm not sure if the heavy is a specific taunt whether you can make that unusual. I have to look that up and find out. Onto my engineer now. Engineer's got a lot of attention in 2016 for various reasons. We have a look at these. Uh, 
this loadout first, which is my green loadout. This is if I actually want to play engineer, you know, on a payload map or something on defense. Got my rescue ranger, got my Geiger counter, which is basically the, the, the wrangler, but it's a reskin from the invasion update. And this is a strange one as well. And then I've got my wrench, my default wrench. Uh, I can't go wrong with the default <laughs> wrench and my strange PDA. And that's basically what I run if I just want to keep my sentry alive. You know, keep it alive with the rescue ranger, whack it with, with your wrench and uh, use the wrangler. And onto the cosmetics, got my unusual big country with scorching flames. Really, really old score. I've had this for a long, long time. Um, the story I always tell people, I was on a trading server and I was doing unusual trades with uh, various people. And someone, were, we were trading a hat and I wanted some, wanted a... A hat from this guy and I had a hat that was more expensive I can't remember the exact trade all I remember is he said hey why don't you take this big country as like an added extra for the deal and I was like okay yeah why not and uh, that's how I ended up with this hat which I've just basically worn ever since so as always I like green so it goes well I've got my Max's head here Max's severed head uh, level 96 it's a specialized kill streak because I put one on there because I just felt like it and it kind of looks like you know a, a bunny werewolf thing guy maybe uh, i got the grizzled growth which i use the green beard um the engineer has a few different beards that he can use this is the one i roll with um we can have a look at his taunts now i have uh, two engineer specific taunts this one is the rancho relaxo can't actually see the chair it doesn't actually show it um in my hud but basically it's when he sat in the chair and uh, basically money comes out money comes out so it's the it's what i like to think is the uh the strip club taunt because you know, he's just throwing the cash in the air, watching uh, watching things, watching things. I've also got something more recent. This is Infernal Smoke on a Bucking Bronco. Again, you can't actually see the Bronco being ridden around, uh, but it goes really, really well with this loadout, I feel, because it's, it's green and it goes well with the green, uh, the green cosmetics. I created the Unusual Fire for this during the most recent Halloween update. We can have a look now at the other loadout, which is, of course, probably my more famous loadout because it's the one with six unusuals on it. So we've got the backwards boomstick with isotope. Then we've got the black dahlia with energy orb. And then we've got the airwolf wrench with cool effects. So we've got the three unusual uh, weapons, kind of an unusual PDA, unfortunately. So we've just got the strange one there. Moving on to the cosmetics, I've got another big country. This one, though, is purple energy. Level 69, giggity. And um, painted white, because then that goes well with the Brainiac hairpiece, which is green energy, which kind of covers this side bit here. And obviously purple and green energy. What color does that make? According to Valve, it makes white energy. And then finally, you can see all of this effect around here. That's not the white energy. That is part of the Disco Beatdown, which is from my unusual pencil pusher, which basically is just a pencil. And you can just wear that with any loadout. So it's a nice extra addition. So there we go. Six unusuals on the same class. That's the most unusuals you can have on any loadout on any of the characters. I had five on my pyro. We were looking around to see if we could do anything better. And six is the most. So this is the most unusuals you can have. On to my medic now, and as many of you will probably know, I main medic in competitive, both Highlander and 6v6. And for my medic, I've just I just roll with the uh, the strange festives. You know, I've got my strange festive crossbow here. I've got my strange festive medigun. Like we were saying earlier, my rocket launcher had the most kills. I think this is my most used strange. I've got 22,000 ubers on it, and uh, kill assists that makes 46,000 with just over four and a half million uh, allied healing done. So quite a some quite big numbers there on my minigun i do actually have a crits creek as well which i recently recently made uh festivized as well it's also hail zone um the recent festivizers allowed you to make them festive then i got my uber saw here again strange festive leveling up those kills a little bit four thousand kills on there getting there my crossbow well two thousand kills so you know we're getting there i've actually got how much more of it? I've got more healing than damage dealt, which is good. It means I'm doing my job as a medic. Moving on to cosmetics, I've got my vintage Tyrolean uh, with sunbeams effect. And then I've got my blighted beak with scorching flames. Uh, my blighted beak was something that I really, really wanted. I remember my first unusual in the game was actually a vivid plasma medic mirror. And I wore that with the blighted beak, which was one that was painted kind of yellow. And... Uh, 
that was that was an old school loadout and I thought how can I make this loadout you know how can I make it more green <laughs> and shiny um, then finally I've got here I've got the all father which I use now um, obviously you can use that with the medic now couldn't before some of you may remember me using the procedure mask my vintage procedure mask and things like that in the past but now I use the all father looking at the medic taunts I've just got one medic taunt which is a showstopper one that's the showstopper effect with the fireworks and it is the meet the medic taunt so actually when you do that in game you actually do get the kind of shining lights out of the bottom as well like you would do just with the regular taunt but it's got the addition of the fireworks as well we look at the secondary loadout which is basically just exactly the same um, and it's exactly the same cosmetics that I use on my soldier but this is what I run when I play in competitive it just means I don't stand out as much my teammates noted years ago maybe you're gonna get headshot more because you you, you stand out like a lighthouse because you got sunbeams and fire coming off your head and I thought that's not a bad point so I started wearing just a little bit more subtle things I got my gibbous and my professor specs again just to, uh, just to count you, that's why I've got more assists. Got, what, nearly 16,000 assists, but only 3,000 kills. It's because most of the time I use these is because I'm wearing them on my medic. On to my sniper now. And it's another white energy combo. So start off, I've got my Australian sniper rifle. Nearly at hell zone. Don't play that much sniper, but uh, I'm getting it there. Slowly but surely. Uh, then I've got my collector's razorback. I really like the razorback. Um very useful for someone who's just wants to snipe and not worry about people getting people backstabbing you and then I've got my haunted professional killstreak bat out of hell which is just a regular melee um, no point in using something like the bushwhacker if I'm not running the Jurati so I just use this is just a reskin of the regular and then moving on to the hats I've got my killer exclusive with disco beatdown painted white and uh, very nice hat indeed and then I've got my Master's Yellow Belt, which is green energy, with my Villain's Veil, which is purple energy. And like we saw before, mix those two colours together, and apparently that makes white energy. And this uh, Villain's Veil is also a strange one as well, so it counts the points, counts the kills. I've just got the Fireproof Secret Diary there, just for the, just for the hell of it. And then I've got an unusual taunt for my Sniper. This was actually my first ever... Oh, I can't see the taunt. It's behind him. It's hiding have to do that there we go um, this was my first ever unusual untaunt uh, unbox sorry a uh, couple of years ago now and yeah it's 72 ICU I think it goes quite well because it's very shiny and it goes with the the shininess of the sniper I do have a couple of different loadouts for the sniper though this one here is something I use in MVM got all collectors uh, all collectors weapons so I've got my collectors heat maker which I use and then I've got my Jurati and my bushwhacker which just helps in MVM bushwhacker if you get the buff banner you can actually do mini crits to things like the tank and Jurati obviously slows stuff down it takes some mini crits as well and uh, moving on to the cosmetics I've got my rather festive tree and it's got an uh, antifreeze I'll just move the character down a little bit so you can see the effects a bit better it's my only antifreeze hat um, and it's festive it's that time of year goes with my yellow belt which is green energy and my antlers so got that triple green going on but it's slightly different green obviously my strange battery canteen if I want to use it for MVM and I've got another loadout here for the sniper as well which is just something I mess around with sometimes I've got the purple range uh, sniper rifle Razorback and the bat out of hell using that again and then I've got my brotherhood of arms which is cloud nine um, I think this is the only class where I'm actually using this nowadays it is an all class all class hat and it's got those hearts coming out of it from cloud nine then I've got another villain's veil this one is orbiting fire so it's painted pink um, when I traded for it it was actually pink already which gave me the idea of using it with this loadout and uh, it's got that orbiting fire and I've just got the champ stamp as well just to mix it up but this is kind of a loadout in progress might be interesting to maybe get a strange purple range and start working on that instead Onto my spy. Now my spy may look interesting, but this is pretty much the only loadout I actually have for the spy. Um, I've got my Australian ambassador here, and then I've got my Australian knife. This one's Hell Zone ambassador's not quite there yet. I've got my Hell Zone dead ringer, and uh, I've got my Manco select sapper. Um, with the cosmetics, I've got the fancy fedora, which has got burning flames on it. And then I've got my party phantom with scorching flames. Back in the day, 
I used to have another party phantom which had some beams and like I mentioned before with the the bonk boy glitch you could actually do the same thing with uh, the party phantom where two party phantoms so I used to have burning scorching and some beams but when they fixed that glitch that was no longer possible so now I just have a spy crab genuine spy crab um, this is the in-game item I got level 69 um, this is the in-game item I got when I received the plushy version in real life of the spy crab and the taunt I have for the spy is the bio life which I think is uh, pretty good it's got showstopper as well a lot of people tell me skill gotten gains would have been a better a better effect to go with it as well but um, I saw this one for a very very good deal a long time ago so it's just the one that I rolled with I do have another spy loadout in progress he's still doing the taunt for some reason um, which is this one here I'm trying to make an all collectors loadout for spy okay so that's a work in progress as you can see I'm part of the way there um, just a couple more things to collect and then we'll have ourselves an all collectors loadout but that's for something for the future and uh, those are all of my loadouts guys so I know it's a bit of a longer video but as always I hope you enjoyed seeing the updates from last year a lot of people always want to see this update um, and see more loadouts and things like that so I hope you've enjoyed it guys criticism comments and stuff in the comment section let me know what you think i hope you've had a great year have a great new year's eve we're looking forward to 2017 and i'll see you guys next time